In this video, I am trying to demonstrate the experiment half adder and full adder full using digital trainer kit. <coughs> the trainer kit consists of AND gates, XOR gates and OR gates. OR gate is drawn from IC 7408, XOR gate is drawn from IC 7486 and OR gate is drawn from IC 7432. These three ICs are quadrupole ICs with 14 pins in which in each IC we can draw four corresponding gates. Pin number 7 is given for ground and pin number 14 is given for plus VCC. Half adder circuit is shown in this figure. Half adder is constructed using AND gate and XOR gate. We require one AND gate and one XOR gate to construct half adder. Basically half adder is a digital circuit which is going to add two digital inputs. Half adder consists of two inputs represented by A and B. It consists of two outputs. One is represented as carry which is A dot B and another is represented as sum which is A excludes you B. The truth table for half adder is represented in this col tabular column. A and B are the inputs. We have four different combinations of inputs and two outputs. One is carry, another one is sum. When both the inputs are low, sum is low and carry is low represented as 0 and 0. When any one of the inputs are high, then sum is high and carry is 0. When both the inputs are high, sum will be 0 and carry will be high. The connections for half adder on the trainer kit is shown here. This is a trainer kit which consists of AND gates, XOR gates and OR gates. We require one AND gate and one XOR gate. To do the connections, there is a provision to draw inputs, digital inputs. If the switch of any one of these inputs is, to, is towards 0, then the input will be low. If it is towards 1, then the input is considered to be high. Now, A of the input is connected to A input of the half adder and B input is connected to the B input of the half adder. Output sum of half adder is connected to output port and carry output of adder is connected to another output port. This is how the connections are done. To verify the truth table, when both the inputs are low, we have to look at the LED display. Both the LEDs are off representing the sum is also 0 and carry is 0. The corresponding outputs can also be verified using the voltage levels by measuring the voltage levels. To measure the voltage levels, there is a ground connection which is to be connected to the multimeter, negative of the multimeter 
and the positive of the multimeter is to be placed to the terminal where we are measuring the output now i am measuring the sum output and the voltmeter uh, that is the multimeter is showing 0.069 volts any voltage between 0 to 7.7 is recognized as low therefore sum is low when both the inputs are zero sum is zero multimeter is showing 0 0.069 that is low similarly to measure the voltage level of the carry output i am placing the positive terminal to the carry point the carry port output the multimeter is showing zero representing the carry is also zero when any one of the inputs are high here a is made high b is made zero sum will be high therefore led is glowing and carry is zero led is not glowing corresponding voltage levels are recorded like this sum is showing the voltage 3.45 which is considered to be high and carry is showing the voltage zero representing low when both the inputs are high carry will be high sum will be low corresponding voltage levels are recorded like this voltage for sum is showing as 0 0.077 less than 0.75 therefore it is low and for carry it is giving an voltage of about 4.853 which is considered to be high this is how we will be verifying the truth table experimentally of an half adder to record the readings there is a tabular column here the inputs are entered in first and the second column corresponding logic state that is the uh, led condition is entered in this third column if led is off it is to be recorded as zero if led is glowing then it is to be recorded as one and corresponding voltage levels should be entered here this is for carry and these two columns are for sum if each row that means zero zero means here we should get zero voltage should be less than 0.75 logic state here should be zero again and voltage here also should be almost zero that is less than 0.75 like this we will be verifying for different combinations of the inputs if this is verified then the half adder circuit will be verified